Hello everybody, I'm Eli, and uh, I really don't want to film this video, but um, it's been confirmed, if you saw my previous video, I that Scott Murray has officially passed away. Um, his funeral service was earlier today, and uh, while it was not open casket and they didn't show any photos, uh, they did mention that this Scott Murray that had passed had a large social media following and was passionate about fitness and nutrition and um, Apparently based off of some comments that I read his parents also confirmed his passing in a private Twitter thread and um, This is an incredibly sad day uh, Scott was obviously my friend. I, I hadn't known him for very long, but um, we talked a fair amount, and he actually kind of reached out to me uh, after watching my interview with Brandon Gage, saying that he, you know, admired the discipline and kind of understood what that took. And I mean, obviously, Scott was a very dedicated and disciplined man, but he took his dedication and discipline into. Uh, disorder territory and um, now he's no longer with us and I know um, a lot of influencers will probably focus on the uh, consequences of remaining too lean as Scott did because see, Scott was exceptionally lean and he went to great lengths to sustain that leanness for periods longer than anyone should be um, I want to take an opportunity to talk to all of those who attempted to help him because um, I know that if you're a, a youtuber you probably or at least you might be thinking, you know, I should have made a video or I should have done more to help. That was, that's what I thought. I mean, I had thought about making a video specifically on Scott, you know, hoping to bring attention to his clear, the, the fact that he was clearly unwell, both mentally and physically. And I know Brendan Gage also considered making a video uh, out of concern for Scott, and yet neither of us did due to a desire to not overstep boundaries. And um, obviously, we know Brendan Gage said to me that he regrets not making the video now, but I want to all of those who attempted to help him, who commented on his video, or who did uh, what they could, don't blame yourself. Scott's life was his life to live and his life to die. And when you're dealing with others, especially those who are deeply troubled as Scott was, I was taught to employ something known as empathetic detachment where you empathize with the person and you reach out and you try to help that person to the best of your ability you genuinely care about the person but you detach yourself emotionally from the outcome an example would be a drug addict and if you you know you can stage your interventions you can reach out and offer support but if that person doesn't choose to listen to you and continues abusing drugs and ends up costing them their life or you know uh, a limb or something because you know this uh, injections or whatever um, you can't blame yourself for that you know you did what you could and um, at the end of the day it's up to the individual to seek the help that he or she needs and it's the same thing that I view with Scott a lot of people tried to help him 
a lot of people reached out. You can see comments if you scroll and read through his latest videos about how he's looking more and more sick and how people were genuinely trying to help him. But um, Scott didn't listen. And he, can, he chose to continue walking down the path that he decided to walk down. And, well, he suffered the consequences. Scott was an incredibly positive person, despite his personal demons. He brought a lot of joy and positivity into the world. He spoke with such passion and kindness, even to me, as somebody who has less than 2,000 subscribers when he has over 45k. Um, I remember in my DMs, he talked to me and he said that that's the one thing that he wants to keep true. That he never lets the fame and the glory change him. That he, that he remains kind and a humble and he succeeded, in my opinion, anyway. Um, he was a good friend. And um, it's, it's very, very sad to see him go. Um, like I said, to all those grieving, as hard as it can be, please don't blame yourself. Because, I mean, even I, when I first heard the news, I, I have been trying to reach out kind of um, gradually. Just trying to kind of, hey, like, if you need some support, I'm here for you. If you need some help, I'm here. And I didn't want to be too pushy because I didn't want to overstep boundaries. I didn't want to push him away or put him on the back foot. And when I first heard the news, my first instinct was, oh, I should have done more. I should have, you know, pushed to help him more and... But that kind of thinking gets you nowhere. To those that reached out and tried to help him, you did what you could. And I don't want anyone to be feeling responsible for what happened. What happened to Scott was a tragedy. Is a tragedy. And, um... But there's not much any of us can do for him now. The only thing that we can do now is move forward with him in our hearts and him in our minds. Live the years that he couldn't and um, assure that he is never forgotten. Because I, uh, I don't believe a man dies when his heart stops beating. I believe a man dies when he's forgotten. And um, if there's anything any of us can do for Scott now, is to assure that he lives on forever in those that loved and admired him and the people he helped, the recipes he put forward and the entertainment and joy he brought to the world with his content. crazy to think that he's gone. But he'll never be forgotten. He left a massive impact on the world and the YouTube community that he managed to create. 
to anyone who would like to uh, watch the funeral service, I will have it linked. And um, in the description. Along with Scott's channel. In his memory. I don't think I have much more to say for this video, aside from fly high, you beautiful Irish bastard. It's sad that we never got to... I wish I could have gotten to know you a little bit better. You know, you said we seemed like kindred spirits and to a certain extent, I, I believe that. I, I, I believe that wholeheartedly. And, um, you know, I'm Irish too, and I was genuinely hoping that maybe one day I would be able to fly down to Dublin and, you know, Scott could, you know, introduce me to help me get a little bit more in touch with my Irish roots. But Anyway, Scott... Rest easy, my friend, because um, you were a very hard worker, but um, it's okay. You can rest now. He said he never took a rest day, and it's been like four and a half years since he took a rest day, so sleep long and sleep well, my friend. You've earned it.